Hi everybody, this is Dark Onion here with a updated video on how to root your Droid 2 and your Droid X. Um, this will be using the do root program by Faceless User and me, Dark Onion, uh, which is based on the Sebastian Kramer method. Uh, we will be working with do root Windows version 2.1.4, and I have tested this, and this does work on the new 2.3.20. Um, update that was released for the Droid 2. Uh, Alright, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is you want to download the, you need to download two files. Uh, one is the, the do root uh, zip file and the other one is the Motorola USB drivers. Um, so they're both zip files, just go ahead and, and what we want to do first is um, is install the Motorola drivers, double click and then you're going to see a .exe file. Uh, double click that and just follow directions and install. I've already installed this so I'm going to go ahead and skip it. All you really have to do is just keep pressing next and it'll install and you'll be done. Alright, uh, next thing we want to do is we want to extract the do root windows files. Okay, So all you got to do is double click the file. You'll see this do root windows underscore 2.1.4. All you have to do is take that and drag and drop. And there it goes. You'll see um, 9 or 10 files, pretty small files. Uh, let's go ahead and minimize that for now and we'll come back in a second. Alright, so we need to set up the, the phone next. So if you haven't done so already, um, plug your phone into the USB cable. Okay. And the first thing you need to do is you need to uh, enable USB debugging. So uh, go to the um, settings, go to applications, development, and then make sure this USB debugging, this top one, is checked. Okay, so it's gonna, when I check it, it's gonna give you, it's gonna ask you the prompt, press OK. Okay, and then go back to the main screen. Now, what you want to do is you want to change the connection mode. So pull down the blind. USB connection, choose PC mode, and press OK. As you can see, I've already done that. All right, so that's it for the fun part. Now all you have to do is actually run the file. So go ahead and put your phone to the side. Um, bring back the um, the do root Windows folder, and you're going to see 10 files. What you're looking for is the do root.bat, and all you have to do is double click. All right. It's going to bring up this um, this prompt and it's going to start running. It's going to transfer the files and then you'll find that we'll, we have a you know dry sense of humor with all these uh, in messages, in program messages. But uh, yeah, we're going to run. It's going to run this exploit. Um, for those who have asked, this has come up a lot, if it hangs uh, at this uh, message for more than 10 minutes, um, go ahead and kill a program and rerun it. Uh, sometimes it runs, sometimes it doesn't. The really key to success is just keep running it until it runs. Alright, so um, phone is going to restart. And we're going to start to finish up on the second part of the uh, the root program. So if it says it fails, just go ahead and run it, run it again. Sometimes you'll get it the first time, otherwise it doesn't. Uh, in this case, it failed, so just go ahead and press yes, or type Y, and press enter. And we'll see this message again. And there we go, we're it's restarting and hopefully we'll get it this time.
and looks like we've succeeded with the exploit. And there you have it. It says, congratulations, you should now be rooted. So let's go ahead and check and make sure we have root. So um, all you have to do really is make sure that uh, a rooted program runs. So I have wireless tether that I used to test. Um, and you bring it up and you press start. And if it says super user requests, then that means you're rooted. Press allowed. And that's it. You're done. So uh, yeah, that's all. Um, all the information to how to root and uh, all that good stuff is in the comment box uh, down there uh, below the window. So, hope you enjoy. Later. Bye.